Ever watched a volcano throw a tantrum so wild it makes its own lightning show? I'm talking ash clouds taller than Everest, sparks flying every second, and thunder that sounds like the planets yelling, Look at me! Stick around, because I'm breaking down how a mountain turns into the world's scariest thunderstorm. Alright, so the volcano pops. Instead of just lava, it fires off a rocket of shattered rock, glass, and gas hotter than your oven's self-clean cycle. These bits slam together so hard they practically high-five at the speed of sound. Every collision grabs or drops electrons, splitting the cloud into a giant battery. Positive up top, negative down low, lightning's just waiting to even the score. Right above the crater, magma's still exploding. This part's called fractal emission. Basically, the rock's so stressed it spits out ions like popcorn. These mini-bolts are the first flickers you'll spot. Tiny, but proof the plume's fully charged. Up it goes, punching into air so cold your breath would freeze. Water flash freezes into ice crystals that bounce off ash and rock like a cosmic pinball game. Charge layers stack like pancakes, except these pancakes can fry a city block. When the charge gap gets too wide, boom, circular lightning. The kind that looks photoshopped but isn't. Scientists call them lightning rings. I call them Mother Nature showing off. Every extra mile adds millions more collisions, meaning more electrons out of place, meaning more did you see that moments. The ash from Eyjafjallajökull in Iceland reached a height of 15 miles above ground. Astronauts watched it from orbit. January 12, 2020. Mount Tall in the Philippines woke up grumpy. Nine miles of ash in 90 minutes, 2,000 lightning flashes, one every three seconds at peak. That's enough juice to power the Philippines for a heartbeat. Ajafialayakul didn't just cancel your vacation. It handed scientists the first 3D map of volcanic lightning. Turns out lightning tracks the densest ash, so airlines now use it as an ash radar. 20 degrees Celsius below zero in Alaska when Mount Redoubt erupts, the plume resembles a blizzard of ice. Lightning melts ash into glass beads called lightning-induced volcanic spherules or lives. These tiny spheres cool faster than a TikTok trend. And geologists dig them up in ancient ash layers to prove lightning's been crashing volcanoes since forever. Plug that data into forecast models and boom, planes get rerouted before they even smell sulfur. Next time a volcano lights up the night with its own private storm, remember, shattered rock, billion emperor collisions, ice crystals in a death match, and static electricity that's been itching to party since the Big Bang. If your jaw dropped at any point, congrats, you're officially a volcano nerd.